Uh, tell me a little bit about those two vaults that you did. Um, when I came in for warm-up this morning, I was pretty confused in what vault I was going to do. Um, my coach and I were going to decide what I was going to do after warm-up. So I did warm-up and I was a little iffy on my um, vault I was going to do and was going to decide if I was going to do my other vault. Fortunately, I tried it and it was okay, so we decided to uh, do it for competition. Luckily, it went pretty well for competition. It's the best, probably the best double I've ever done. Actually, only double I've ever competed. <laughs> so um, it, it was amazing competing it first time at Worlds with no warm up at finals. I mean, it was, I think, anything I could ever ask for. Uh, as for my second vault, I had a little um, wobble, I guess, on my landing, which can be fixable. Um, I made a mistake, but. You know, it was a it was an okay mistake, and I'm happy with what I did. Now going just back to that first uh, vault again for a minute. Uh, could you uh, say say specifically what's in it, what it's called, and what you actually do? The number of twists, the number of somersaults. It's called a Yurchenko double twist. I do. Um, I jump onto the uh, vault uh, backwards, and I push off and do a double twist, a single layout with a double twist in it. Um, and, yeah. and how long did it take you to really learn that and be comfortable with it? For a while actually. I started doing it I think around 2005 Yeah, in France. I started um, training it. Um, so just to finally be able to compete it and get my nerves up to do it um, was is an accomplishment itself. Like I didn't really care how I landed it. I landed it really well for my expectations, so it was it was good that I finally got the courage to do it. Now I know that coming in here tonight you'd already accomplished really all your goals. You'd made two finals at your first worlds. Uh, and I know that when you're getting ready for a competition you like to just to focus on doing your best, but did the thought of a medal kind of creep in there a little bit? Uh, I mean, definitely. I think every gymnast always, you know, has a medal in the back of their mind. Unfortunately, you know, I didn't get a medal, but I, I made finals, and that was my ultimate goal. Um, so hopefully next year I'll maybe be in a better chance of getting a medal. We'll see what happens.